If like me, you've recently moved from uh, a DJI Mavic to the DJI Air 2 or the Air 2S, perhaps you used to like to fly with an iPad mini like I do. I prefer to have a larger screen real estate when I'm flying, but unfortunately, as much as I love this new controller actually, the uh, iPad mini just doesn't fit in there. So. Can you buy something to fix that? Sure can. So as much as I do love this new controller, how it feels in the hands, I never really had a problem with the uh, original one here that I had with my Mavic Pro, but it's a little bit disappointing that I couldn't use the uh, iPad mini that I've got. And again, I know it's old and out of date and they don't make them anymore, but it works so well, I have no problems with it, touch wood. So I had a little look online. You can 3D print uh, a holder that kind of rams into here somehow and kind of pops down there. But I saw online when I had a little look around, you can get this um, remote controller tablet holder. So I figured, we get one and uh, have a look. So pop it open together, show you what's in the box and then offer the uh, iPad mini into it. So again, this isn't groundbreaking, but um, some basic stuff. So inside the box, we've got the user guide just here and disclaimer and warning, probably you know, don't eat it, don't stick it in your ear that kind of thing. So relatively straightforward. Insulation stuff just here. So let's unbag it and have a quick look. So in terms of materials, actually it feels like quite good plastics. You can see just here. The one thing I wasn't sure about is obviously it, it does go in front of the control functions, which obviously it didn't do on the uh, original Mavic controller there, but it sh should work just fine. So in terms of the screen size it supports, so it's a tablet in between seven and 10 inches. So if you've got that massive iPad Pro thing, that isn't gonna work, but um, I don't have that, so it's absolutely fine. So. In terms of what we do, it says to get this positioned like this, then we need to extend the controller bracket like so. Then we are going to basically put this in here, like a sleeve around it. And it's quite handy, there are cutouts, which I'll show you in a minute, under here. So you can still see um, the buttons and the lights and all that kind of thing on there. And so then this just clips down over the top there to hold it in place. So you do get a nice firm fitting with it. I think you probably just need to see how, we, how do we end Unclip it. Does it unclip easily? Yeah, it unclips really easy when you want to take it apart. But I want to get this cable out of the way first. So put the cable out of the way. Put this back down like that. So it's all in nice and tidily. Then we can push this back down. It just kind of sits up over the top there. Then we need to get our iPad mini from over here. And then this is where I'm gonna find that my iPad mini is too small or something. But let's uh, have a look. It does seem to be fitting. The iPad mini is on the small size or small side in terms of scale, but we can see there it's in. Looks pretty good. See if the cable reaches along. So let's just move this up a little bit. So actually I can position it so it doesn't get 
in the way of the controls. I'll just this is where I could perhaps benefit from a slightly longer cable, but it's going to work okay, I think. Once I've sorted this out, I'll bring it up so that you can see it. Okay, and for me, I think that is going to work absolutely perfectly. So I still have full sight um, of the LED indicators. In terms of flying, the thumbs are still can gain access to everything. There's still enough room under here. I probably would move this forward just a little bit to give my thumbs a little bit more room on the sticks, but yeah. I think that's gonna be much better and saves me just being restricted to just the size of my iPhone 8 Plus. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. So let me know how you get in the comments with something like this. Perhaps you decided to just do the 3D printed version, it works much better, but um, yeah, I think this gives some more expanded options if you want to have uh, a larger screen real estate when you're flying your DJI Air 2 or 2S. Or any other drone that uses, or well, any other DJI drone, I should say, that uses um, this new controller layout. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you tap that like button to let more people know about this video. Please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and again, any feedback down below in the comments would be much appreciated. Until next time, take care of yourself and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.